Wow, you know, I've been doing this just short of 25 years, uh -huh. and I have never seen the kind of crowd that he just drew to a TV station studio from the staff. He's a likable guy. He's very accessible, very <laughs> yeah. friendly, that Snoop Dogg. Tomorrow is October 13th, and today we are taking you to a restaurant that has the number 13 in its name, but don't worry, it will not bring you bad luck. In fact, this restaurant seems to be good luck for downtown Pontiac as it is drawing people in with their delicious house-made beer and food. Michelle Oliver takes us to Dine in the D at Fillmore 13 Brewery. At Fillmore 13 Brewery, you may come for the beer, but you'll stay for the food. Well, we go to a lot of breweries, my wife and I, and it's disappointing when there's no food or there's very little food. I, I'm a big believer in if you have good beer, you have to have good food to go with it. Laith has worked at a lot of breweries and restaurants over the years, but Fillmore 13 Brewery is the first one he's owned. We thought, you know, let's, uh, let's try downtown Pontiac. We haven't been there in a while. We used to come here all the time before. And we came by, we looked at this building, it was for lease, and uh, we fell in love with it. 1920s building with a lot of character, and uh, that was kind of our deciding factor. They tried to keep with the times of the building, using these 1920s style copper blue lights and these vintage taps. The first thing that I want you to say is, oh my, I want to have a beer here. What a great fit here. And we made it happen. The floor is not even, nothing was leveled. It was very challenging to work and put together. But we wanted the brewery to be visible and we accomplished that. You know, we just love the structure of it. In terms of food, they have sandwiches, pizzas, and finger food. Well, we thought, what goes good with beer? And here we are. We kept it simple. We, we use the beer and the food. We have it in our uh, beer batter. And, uh, we cook our slow roasted turkey uh, with a pitcher or two of beer. We do the same thing with our full pork and obviously the beer cheese as well. But this place is first and foremost a brewery. So let's make some beer. Now the whole beer making process can take over nine hours. They start by pouring malted barley into this vat and soak it in hot water to release the sugars. This is our mash. As I'm collecting the liquid uh, off the bottom, I'm also adding water on top. It's essentially just rinsing uh, extra sugar out okay. so that we can collect all of that. We want every little bit of that that we can get. So you need that much sugar so that much yeast eats it and it becomes that alcohol. Exactly right. The sugar water then goes into this container. As I'm collecting this liquid, okay. I'm trying to reach a certain volume with a certain amount of sugar in that solution. So now we have to take a volume here and see how many gallons I have in the tank. To do that, we need Philomena. That's her name. We want to put that inside. So, so we're here. Right here. So 10987. I'm at about six and a half barrels. Once we get the volume we need, we take the liquid's gravity. What's the gravity? It's not how much it's pulling down. Right, on gravity it. is a measurement of how much uh, sugar is in solution. To do that, we need a sample of the liquid. This doesn't smell like beer. Not beer yet, no hops or it anything. Smells sweeter. So it's very sweet. It always reminds me of uh, grape nut cereal. Um, just I really would say more like oat bran, but I get your feeling. We pour the solution onto this machine and it measures the gravity. I was thinking this was going to be like some kind of doctor tool and I wasn't going to be able to tell by looking at right, it, no, but it's, it's very clearly marked. Very it's like clear. this is a color and then this is a different color and right at the line as is As easy as reading a thermometer. 13. Yeah. At this point, we bring the sugar water to a boil and add the hops. Then it's transferred to these barrels where the yeast is added and they make it into beer. Yum! Looks really good. Yeah. All right. Well, joining us today is Laith Romaya. He's the owner of Fillmore 13 Brewery. So tell us about your wonderful spread that you brought here today. Well, we brought a uh, few things uh, that we're, we didn't bring last time. So uh, we can start with our uh, charcuterie board, uh, Calabrese, uh, hot capicola, we have Mediterranean uh, olives there, a little bit of everything. Uh, great, great uh, plate to share. Then we have our uh, Reuben egg rolls, uh, which we make from scratch every day. We can't wow. keep those in stock. Looks like you got Very some popular. really good comfort food. Yeah, you know, it's uh, we use good quality ingredients and uh, the different shows. And uh, so, what do we have here? So this is our mozzarella bread. Okay. Uh, great appetizer to start with. We have our one of our popular sandwiches, the Dagwood, uh, full of good stuff: hot capicola, uh, shaved ham, provolone. 
very popular. Uh, one of the bigger items on the menu is our half-pound Black Angus beef burger with a fried egg on top and cheddar and bacon and all that and good stuff. And these French so fries, they're like the shoestring French they're fries. They're the shoestring, a little bit of seasoning Favorites. on there. Yep, good really stuff. Good. That's good. Uh, what is this right now? That here? is our prime rib sandwich, yeah. and uh, it's one of the popular items on the menu as well. Uh, slow roasted, shaved prime rib. Uh, can't go wrong with it. Okay, Great so stuff. I do want to talk about yes. the beer. Yes. How many beers do you have on tap? We have uh, 20 beers on tap. Uh, as of now, and uh, we have seven core beers, and the rest always rotate. Okay, so, so seasonal beers according to the season, or according to what the brewer and I like to make, or uh, what the people are asking for. And then, so, it's a lot so of you fun. guys opened in March of 2017. 2017, yes. So, how has yeah. downtown Pontiac been receiving you guys? It's been great. There's been a lot of movement in downtown. Uh, a lot of new companies are coming in, and uh, we're very excited. We're You're very excited to be part of it. Jason, yeah. you've got your eye on the, f yeah. on the beer. Can we get to try I had a few, Absolutely, yes. Okay. Sure thing. I have, your, kind, I have a glass kind of underneath. It? This is Oktoberfest uh, lager. Yum. And uh, there's an extra glass underneath there. <laughs> Jason's first time he's ever poured a beer, right? This thing was full all the way up to the very top. <laughs> Let's just see. Just to it. let you know. All right. Leif, I'm going to tell you if yeah. I like it or not. I'm going to be honest. There's another glass. Let's do a toast. Yes, mm. let's get you one. Oops. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, cool. So, um, let's see. You guys also have wine as well. To your help. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, we also do. I'm just going to walk away. Mm. It is really, really good. Oktoberfest beer. Oktoberfest lager. You guys yep. have wine as well. We have wine. We have a full line. Uh, we make some of the fruit wines ourselves here. And real and, uh, quick, where are you guys located? Seven North Saginaw, downtown Pontiac, okay. uh, right in the heart of downtown. All Come right. on down and see us. Yeah, uh, absolutely. We're also doing some packaging as well, thanks to uh, Flagstar Bank. Oh, great. Making it possible. We teamed up with uh, Powers Distributing, and we're in, in 15 to 20 establishments right now. So get there or get to us. Uh -huh. We'd love to see you. All right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. Also, if you want to try out Fillmore 13 <laughs> Brewery, we are giving away five $25 gift cards for your chance to win. All you need to do is go to the Live and D, the D Facebook page or the contest rules for the contest rules at clickondetroit.com. And we also want to invite you to join our Dine in the D group on Facebook. You can see all the places we cover, get suggestions on places to eat out, and share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food, we'd love to have you be part of our group.